Last week's storm may have gotten the best of us, but being prepared is the name of the game. In this local hardware store, empty shelves is all that was left after Anchorage residents cleaned out the portable electric generator stock. Fearful they may be left in the dark, those who snatched one up may want to take certain precautions before powering back on. Uh, well, definitely you always want to make sure you're operating a generator outside. Uh, you don't want to ever have a generator inside your home or in an attached garage and also making sure to keep it away from an open window. Uh, we also recommend that you have a carbon monoxide detector in case carbon monoxide were to get into your home, that way you can ensure that it'll alert you so your family's safe. Chugach Electric said they would be watching weather conditions and have crews on duty and phone stations ready should the power go out. Like last week's storm, this one is expected to bring with it 100 mile per hour winds along with much more rain, which could result in more trees down and longer times without power. If the power actually does go out, you may be out of luck when it comes to generators, but having a flashlight and some extra batteries on hand might do you some good. One of the most critical things that you can do is get a hand crank or battery operated radio. A lot of people woke up to no power, which means their computers wouldn't come on so they didn't have the internet. Um, a lot of people lost their cell phones and their landlines went down, and so they just didn't have a way to find out what was happening. Some other good supplies to keep in mind are food, water, candles, and pet supplies. Even if we don't see a huge power loss, you're better safe than sorry.